All right, I'm going to make my Eric Carl animal. You can see here I have my papers and my other little piece of paper here. And I'm going to draw my critter and I'm going to cut them out. First, I need to think about what I could make with these wonderful colors. And after looking at them, I think I could make like quite a few little birds or something with them. So I'm going to sketch out some ideas and maybe this could be the sky and I could crop this part that is not attached here so that this could just be like the ocean. So I will cut this part off and this could be my final paper. Or I could use construction color paper, whatever I want. All right, so there's my sky and stuff. I'm gonna set that aside and I'm gonna start drawing some birds on some of these little pieces of paper that I have here so that I can cut them out. All right, we've got orange, and I always think of beautiful orange birds that um, are like Orioles or something. And I can just make their little feathers rounded here, and wings, and his little tail. There, there's my nice little bird. And on this one here, ooh, this could be a fun little owl. Maybe he's kind of a thick little owl. He's got some little feet. He could be sitting on a branch and I could draw some eyes on him and a little beak and the eyes and there's my little owl and some little feathers on his chest maybe he has a little hair on him there we go and let's see maybe I can make this into the belly of a cardinal maybe it could be a bigger cardinal he could have some feet his belly maybe this could be his tail this could be any kind of bird, an imaginary bird. Little foot, little toes, and maybe his head could be white. Maybe he's like a dove. Yeah. And then over here, I can have another little bird. Maybe he's flying as well. Could be like a purple crow that's also kind of pink. And his wing comes down over here make that more like a wing there and then over here ooh, I could make like a parrot with this one so a parrot's got like a round body and his head and his little beak maybe he's got more of a curled beak and his wing tail and his little beak he could be sitting on a branch too or I could have one wing open. There. All right, now I need to cut out my critters. Now, you can cut really close to your critter, or you can do what's called a bubble cut. You can cut on the outside of your critter, just around the lines that you have. This is a bubble cut. Where you cut around the lines. It's okay if you want to bubble cut. If you're really good at cutting, you can come back later and cut closer and on your lines. Maybe this parrot has two wings. I'll just make one out of a different color or something. Cut out my other bird over here. I'll bubble cut around him so I can get in there a little easier. There. And then I can come back and cut more on the line. Robin. So sometimes it's easier to cut if you just cut pieces out of each other and then you can keep track of them a little bit better. I'm going to take all the scrap paper that I don't want and I'm going to recycle it right now so that way my birds don't get lost and the mix of things. 
and I need my owl. And my little orange robin. All right, so take my little world, and I'm going to arrange my birds in this little world. Maybe the owl is over here. And then my parrot is flying up above him. This little guy can be sitting down here. This guy can be flying in here. This little guy can be up here. And now I will glue them on. I can use a glue stick by very carefully, oh, the glue stick has some fuzzies on it. Just putting a little bit of glue on the back of the critter, and then very gently sticking it on. There. There's a glue right here. The owl right there. That's a sticky. <laughs> and here's my bird clash. Now I need to sign it. There. Well done. Enjoy making your Eric Carl animal clash. Thank you.